You're watching the Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by Foreign Trade Data. Reduce uncertainty, minimize risk, and uncover opportunities with the only website designed exclusively for the seafood import-export community. I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Erner Berry, Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In our top story of the day, a deal has reportedly been reached to reopen the National Fish and Seafood Plant, which abruptly closed earlier this month. A new company, to be called Atlantic Fish and Seafood, will be formed to operate the plant. According to reports, the strategy is to bring up the production lines in phases based on customer demands. They will start with the Matlaw's Clam Line, a popular brand that was manufactured by National Fish and Seafood at the old plant. In other news, the Chinese tariff increase of 10 to 25 percent is an issue at the forefront for the red swimming crab meat market. China, the largest supplier of red swimming crab meat, saw record-breaking imports at the end of 2018 just as the tw- uh, 10 percent tariff was being implemented and the threat for the January 1, 2019 tariff increase of 25 percent was baited. With much of the production front-loaded in the beginning of the 2018 and 2019 season, imports in 2019 have fallen off dramatically. Now, with the administration's sudden implementation of the 25 percent tariff 10 days ago, there's a chance imports remain low for the remainder of the season. Thanks, Amanda. Sea Delight announced this week that they will acquire Bonamar's brands and trademarks, including the Sebastian brand and other top seafood brands. The acquisition of Bonamar's brands and trademarks is part of Sea Delight's plan to become a major player in the crab category. The announcement comes shortly after the National Fisheries Institute welcomed Sea Delight as the 33rd member of their Crab Council and the 11th member of their Red Crab Council. Finally, with Memorial Day weekend ahead of us, it's officially grilling season. This summer, meal kit company Blue Apron has seafood lovers covered with their first grilling box, which features shrimp. According to Blue Apron, their new meal kit feeds 68 people and was designed for hosting a delicious and seamless summer gathering. Blue Apron users can choose between shrimp and steak, chicken and shrimp, or steak and chicken. And like uh, other Blue Apron meal kits, those who order the box will receive a step-by-step recipe and pre-portioned ingredients. And that wraps up our news for the week. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News podcast released on SoundCloud and iTunes every Monday, except for this Monday since it's Memorial Day. Thanks for watching, and you be well.